Hello, Pisces. I've got nine cards in front of me that look at you and your partner's needs, wants, future orientation, and what each of you is holding on to. And this reading is good for four weeks. And I do the water signs um, toward the end of each month. And so this covers the last part of October and into November, into the middle part of November. Down in the information box, you will find a link to more information about me. My name is Jennifer Pearson. I'm also known as Thistle Gypsy. You'll also find down there um, a link, a schedule to the readings in general, to when I do my readings, and um, a link to a singles reading for Pisces. So for every sign, I do two readings, one for people who are in a relationship and one for people who are still looking. Um, I've got other things planned for this channel. This channel is devoted solely to love reading, so if that's an important part of your life right now, something you're needing perspective on or wanting to develop, then consider subscribing. All right, we're going to jump in now. This is the general energy. And this, I don't know if you say her name, Danae. Danae. Anyway, she's a figure from Greek myth. And I won't go into that too much, except to say that um, she is someone who is, well, who proved good at overcoming obstacles. And this card pictures her actually at a peaceful time within her life. So happily, between obstacles that she had to deal with and difficult times she had to deal with, she had um, some lovely reprieves. Um, she's also a very good mother. So those are all factors that may influence your relationship over the next um, four weeks. So I'm going to look at the little cards first, and the little cards here are representing you. So this is your need at this time. This is what you need. So you need to snuggle up like a little bunny, a little bunny in a nest. So you're needing um, close... I'm just going to say close physical contact and to feel secure and that if you do have children um, that they are also secure. So you're really needing a sense of comfort and security. Um, and it's coming through here that maybe over here that there may be some anxiety going on. So maybe that's why you're really needing some comfort. Um, and you might not be fully aware of this. Um, so, so know that if you're feeling out of sorts, it may be because you need to hug yourself, you need to hug someone else, you need someone else to hug you and snuggle with you and make you feel secure and loved. All right, this is what you want. So this is a card traditionally of moving on from, I'm sorry, my webcam, webcam isn't focusing, but um, traditionally for moving on from a difficult situation. Here it looks like she's deceased, but that's, I think, not going to be the case. But you, um, as in, you know, I don't think anything is ending for you. But you may be wanting to move on from something. And from some of the things going on with your um, partner, I wonder if they are, if you're, if you're moving, and that would possibly be supported by this too, because she's in a time of transition. But she is secure at this point. But she did eventually have to make a decision about moving on. And so I wonder if that's part of what's happening for you guys. And the moving on could be, when I first was looking at the cards, I thought it was actually just a physical move, like the two of you physically moving. But it can also have to do with, you know, if 
you're thinking of a getting a divorce or something that's also a possibility but it isn't the first thing that came to my mind okay so there's needs wants this is your future orientation I don't know if you're examining your options, but you're definitely focusing in on things really closely. She's got a magnifying glass looking at a little um, dragonfly. So you're really examining the things ar around you, or you're focusing very much on one thing and wanting it to grow and maybe ignoring some of the other things that are around you. She's got some ugly bugs there. Um, that she's not seeing because she is so focused on the beautiful dragonfly. But this is the Empress card, so it is about wanting things, wanting to see things grow, loving beauty, wanting prosperity, wanting to see things grow, blossom. Um, it's also a card of being a good manager of resources. All right, next is um, what you are holding on to. And that's why I see these blackbirds kind of all fluttering around in here. And so I think of anxiety or feelings of um, kind of an edgy feeling of excitement. Uh, however, in this, she's actually lifting off of the ground all of this agitated excitement is actually lifting her off of the ground even though they're trapped they're creating enough um, energy there to lift her off the ground so yes if you are leaving or if something is happening um, on your side of things that isn't happening on your partners you're ready to lift off you're ready to let things happen, take their natural course. I mean, it looks like you could hardly stop that from happening. But it could just be nervousness and excitement if, <clears throat> if especially if the two of you are, um, are planning a move. So definitely some interesting things going on. So let's take a look at what your partner um, <coughs> needs. So your partner actually needs, oddly enough, um, a certain amount of secrecy, actually. This is a lynx, and they're uh, often associated with secrecy and independence. So here's where you, you have a little bit of a di disconnect with your partner because you're needing this snuggly security sort of energy and your partner is needing some kind of free-ranging independence um, and to do things secretly. Now I don't know if it's necessarily intended to be behind your back. <clears throat> it may be that the secrecy is about um, maneuvering so that, I mean, again, if you're like buying a house, um, you might be researching things, you know, without your realtor knowing or preparing things, you know, so um, there could be all kinds of non-sinister reasons for wanting secrecy. Yeah. So there could be something that your partner isn't telling you, and it's it might be intended for practical reasons, but it might make you a little nervous to be out of the loop. You need reassurance. So here, though, um, on what you want seems to be. Um, in harmony because this ancestor is about the standing in a passageway she's standing in a passageway and it is like crossing over into another state of being which certainly this is also especially if she's supposedly deceased um, and in in tarot 
death is not death. Death is a transition. Transition to a completely different way of being, a different way of life. Um, in this case, the person is being called, this ancestor is calling you on this journey with this drum to kind of um, pursue your own path. And either you're going with your partner to pursue their own path, or the two of you are going together, or you're going your separate ways. It's hard to say here, especially this being a very general reading. But both of you see this need to move on in some way. So this is um, your future orientation. So you're very focused on one thing or want to be very focused. That's your intention is to focus on one thing or to perhaps deal with the particulars of a situation. Whereas your partner is into the competition and the big picture. This is not mating here going on. This is competition for territory. So it's a snake fight. <laughs> so, um, so your partner wants to establish territory, wants to be a winner, wants to scope out the competition and make sure that he or she is on top of it. Um, so more big picture thinking here. And then what you each are holding on to, you've got your blackbirds in the belly. <laughs> um, your partner, I think you know, if you're staying together, I would say that this your partner is wanting to support you somehow because it's the green woman. So it would be, and I usually take in my readings, the, um, the women to be representing the sign that I'm reading for. So Pisces, this would be you. So your partner, this would be your partner holding on to you, but holding on to your growth because the green woman is about growth growing things, um, you know, personal growth and development or the development um, of your environment and growth within your environment, you know, so it's a very positive card of abundance. Um, so that this can represent you. It can also be your partner. You know, what is your partner holding on to? growth, abundance, um, developing things, and that goes very well with this card. You know, if your partner's on a mission for personal development, that's going to have to do with that. Um, yeah. The green woman also has two little creatures she's perhaps created or is fostering here as well. And since we have this card here, it could be that your partner is holding on to family and or anything you have created, because this is a card of creativity as well. So very interesting, but a time uh, that is probably, you know, interesting to me, but if I were a Pisces, I would probably be feeling sort of some edgy uncertainty about the future, you know, needing some some hugs and comforting for that. Um, while at the same time, knowing that a transition needs to happen, um, I see this, maybe this focus on the minutia here as possibly being an expression of nervousness or anxiety over what's happening to, that you're focusing in so you don't because you don't want to see the big picture um, so just be aware of why you're doing this and make sure that it's um, positive functioning you know positive contribution to the situation as opposed to not as opposed to just a behavior um, intended to ease some of your anxiety. Not that there's always that, not that there's anything wrong with easing your anxiety, but um, just 
just awareness, I would say. And these two cards are actually similar. This is, this is similar to the Empress card, and this is the Empress card. So, yeah, it's like you're on the same page, more or less. Even if you're approaching things a little differently, you're on the same page. But I'm not sure if that page is, hey, you know, maybe we should go our separate ways, or whether it's, yes, let's take this big step together. I'm not sure which one that is. And since this is a very general reading, could be one thing for one of you know for some of you and another thing for the rest of you alrighty again um, this channel is dedicated to love reading so if that's an important part of your life right now go ahead and click surpri um, surprise yeah <laughs> subscribe and um, speaking of well it won't be surprise now but I'm going to do some Halloween readings some jack-o-lantern love readings also, and I've got some daily readings planned in the future. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.